Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to 15 Minutes with 15 Minute Gamer, the weekly podcast where we take a look at the latest gaming news, what's been happening on the channel, discuss a few things, and you know, just shoot the breeze for 15 minutes. So without further ado, let's get that timer on. There it is, we have now 15 minutes to start talking. So what's been happening on the 15 Minute Gaming channel this week? Well, We've been playing a lot of War on the Sea, which is this game you can see running in the background. It is a World War II strategy game. It isn't for everyone, I must admit. There'll be a review next week where I kind of have a look at the impressions of it. So far, so good. If you're into your World War II strategy games, I highly recommend it. Especially if you have an interest in, obviously, naval. It's called War on the Sea. It's on the sea. So, yeah, well, and under the sea as well. I'm not going to sing Under the Sea like I did on the other video. You'll have to go and watch that back. <laughs> under the sea. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Little Mermaid. Great fun, isn't it? Um, I'll see that for a while. So, yeah, go and check that out. We also had, I just have a look through my videos, Valheim reviews just went up. So, Valheim is a new kind of survival game. Well, it's billed as a survival game. Uh, I don't know. It's... um. They kind of say open world survival game. A lot of people have been comparing it to Rust and Minecraft and all that. It's not. If you watch my review, you'll kind of see why I say that. But it's really just a linear RPG. However, this week it just kind of went boom and absolutely exploded everywhere. So if you like linear RPGs, kind of like RuneScape or something, you may enjoy it. I don't know, I didn't really enjoy it. Um, check out the review anyway and see what you think. So yeah, there's videos of that. I've got three videos of that. Two gameplay, one review. We've got some Star Citizen videos as always. Uh, CIG went a little bit insane. So they released the Luna Fly event, which is basically a free fly event. There were special ship sales on ships with red items, like the Caterpillar and stuff. Special red skins. They also released the, um, some other ships, the Hercules. I think the Hercules starts at around about £400, all the way up to £700 for the A2, which is like a carpet bomber. And they released some videos. They released a roadmap update and loads of new things. So it was a big week within Star Citizen. And I'm hoping it'll finally get me into it a bit more. Oh, and Xenothreat. Amazon, don't play adverts during my videos. Good God. God, right, yeah, so basically the Xeno Threat is on phase three now, which basically is the third part of this dynamic event that I was talking about last week. So you may want to go and check that out. We also had some LSPDFR, how to install realistic maps. And the podcast ended up around about 70 views at the end of last week, which I am totally happy with. Thank you if you've watched it. I really appreciate everyone who watched it. And I hope you're all back for another round. So, gaming news, because that's what we're all here for, a little bit of gaming news. I think first off, we're going to talk about Anthem. Can you remember that game, Anthem? Well, I found a little comparison video here. It's not mine. Uh, it's by a guy called Nick930, so I'm just going to use his footage because I thought it was really good how he blends it all together. Um, yeah, so EA are apparently holding a bit of a meeting this week to discuss the future of Anthem. Did, did you any guys play Anthem? I didn't. I looked at it. Can you remember the E3 trailer, which the guy's showing now, and how good it was? And I was like, this game looks epic. And then they went, oh, yeah, it's a generic looter shooter. Base palm, indeed. It looked nothing like the trailer. Where have I seen that recently? Hmm. More population density, better graphics, faked. I don't know. If, if you know, comment below. Um, it got on Metacritic, just reading up here, average score of about 59 on critic reviews and 4 from user reviews. And EA this week are going to meet and talk about the game itself, which uh, yeah, they, they took it off and basically we're going to call it, um, what we're going to call it again, Anthem Neck? Yeah, Anthem Next is what they were calling it. And they took it off. They were going to totally redo it, replan it. And I think this game is dead. I think looter shooters have kind of moved out of the zeitgeist now. I think too many people 
have moved on from Anthem. I don't think it would have a very good player base. I I don't think it's going to go ahead, but they did say last year they're hoping to keep people on and try. We've not heard anything back from it yet, but yeah, I kind of, it was one of those games I was like, uh, yeah, Anthem. Hmm. And I know you can turn things around. Look at, you know, No Man's Sky. That turned it around hugely, but I think this was just a little bit too much on the lacking side, kind of for me anyway. So, yeah, that Anthem, I'm not 100% sure you're coming back, dude. I hope you do. Um, you know, Bioware are a good developer. I would like to see them do well. Never want to see a game developer do badly, especially Bioware. They make some cool games. But yeah, I think you're basically gone now. Up next, Cyberpunk 2077 got hacked. And stuff was stolen. And they left a little note. Now the note read, Hello CD Project. You you have been officially pawned. No idea. I think it's supposed to be you've been especially Pawn something anyway. Um, we have dumped full copies of the source code for your performance server for Cyberpunk 2077, Witcher 3, Gwent, and the unreleased version of Witcher 3, which I don't know if maybe they were doing a remaster of it. We've also dumped all of your documents relating to accountant, administration, legal, HR, investor relations, and more. Now that would have CD Projekt Red scared. Like, imagine if someone released all the stuff about legal... HR, investor relations, and all that sort of stuff. That would worry me. So I think they were probably more bored about that than the source code. The source code has been sold. It was sold two days ago. Anywhere between one and seven million. We're unsure what they got to from reading it. I don't know. All we know is it got sold. It was on the dark web. Yes, that place. And we know the auction was started at one million with a buy it now of seven million, which seemed cheap to me i mean surely it had to be worth more than that but i don't think that's what people are after i think it's the rest of the things anyway it basically goes on to say if you will not come to agreement then your source code will be sold or leaked online any documents will be sent to our contacts in the game and journalism your public image will go down the shitter which i thought was a funny word like only english people say that don't they even more than people see how your shitty company functions. Investors will lose trust in your company. Your stock will dive even lower. You have 48 hours to contact us. Is it bad that when I first saw that, I thought, um, I think you're making this up. I don't know why. It was just one of them things in my head. I was like, I don't know if I believe them. I don't know if I want to believe that because they needed a good PR stunt. But... Reading into it, I was kind of like, okay, I think it's, and obviously it really has happened. But first of all, we're like, hmm, I'm not so sure about that. So, yeah, that was the side point news. Big, big, big news. And I think that I'm interested to see how this one plays out. I'm glad they didn't give in demands. They say they didn't give in demands. Who knows how the insurers and stuff. I haven't played Cyberpunk since it came out. I played for about 20 hours, 10 hours maybe. Realized I was going to come back when it was just better. Um, so, yeah, that there is a review up on the channel. It's a longish review. I'm trying to get away from long reviews at the moment. Like, the new format for the Valheim review is called Rapid Fire. So what I'm hoping is kind of under 10 minutes, very much like bish, bosh, bash, give you the information, get over five things. So it's kind of price, at repeatability. So can you replay it again? Can you have fun with it? the technical and the gameplay and kind of then score them out of 10 each area then give it an overall score within a really quick time frame rather than talking for a very long time like i did with cyberpunk that review didn't do very well it only had about 40 views and also the crew too i did a big review about 40 minutes long on there i could have con cut that down to about 10 11 and that's kind of what i want to do so you'll see more of them reviews they're a bit easier to do they're not as time consuming and I can get more up. I play a lot of games, so I need to start talking about them a little bit more. So yeah, that's the plan. 
with uh, reviews in the future so keep an eye out for them and also comment below if you want to kind of say well i'm not really interested in reviews like that or yes yeah, short the better what do you think's important in the game do you look for gameplay do you look for fun do you look for graphics all that sort of thing so kind of let me know what you think so the luna steam sale started i love a good steam sale i picked up shipbreaker i think it's called hard what's it called something hard thing shipbreaker which is kind of like uh, you get a shipyard and you gotta break the ships down it looked quite fun and it's also got really good reviews and the classic game of swap 2 i picked up and i picked up zero hour which is like a tactical shooter uh kind of like if you imagine not rainbow six but before that so like yeah it's more like tactical and stuff so i'm excited to give that a try you'll see a video up on the channel next week so you can see they're the usual that's what i bought hot space shipbreaker and it's quite good most games are around about 30 percent off i didn't see many above 30 percent off but you can see there they've got 66 percent off so there is some but most games are around about the 30 percent off epic also has a bit of a sale going on as well so if you want to pick up some steam games or some pc games it's probably worthwhile getting in talking about pc games next up is chivalry 2 which has a release date set for ps5 xbox series x and pc so this is coming to june the 8th from pc i really like chivalry 1 i thought it was a really fun little game medieval it's cross-platform this time which i think is really good massive battles going on master the blade or bow the world is your weapon there's new maps there's many modes if you didn't play the first one i would highly recommend checking it out cross play is interesting i like cross play and i wish more games would embrace it so i'm excited to see that you need to go and pick it up if you want access to the beta yes it's doing that annoying thing where it's like you want access shh, you you want access to the demo oh we'll call it a beta and you only get to play if it's pre ordered hmm yeah i don't like it when game companies do that i think it's a little bit sneaky but it's what people do but yeah you can like proper chop people's heads and stuff it's, it's pretty good i rec i really recommend ch checking out number one and ch number two should be fun next up is rust 2 has hit another record yeah another one i know um i released a rust video back last week of how to put your own server up so you can play a single player I'll be releasing a video probably tomorrow or Monday, maybe Tuesday, to basically cover how to make your own server, not downloading the files and using Oxide mods. So it's like a modern thing so you can like put quicker furnace times, quicker this, better base building, copying and pasting NPCs. So if you want to check out Rust with, check out that video. Also pick it up, pick it up. It's a really good game. I will be doing a review on it soon at some point, so wait for that to come. But yeah, it basically went up to 146,404 players in the last 30 days. Last year, it was between 46 and 61, so it's almost doubled, if not tripled, the amount of players uh, playing. So if you haven't heard about it, it's a PvP, or PvE if you go single player, game, it's very, very hardcore. Kind of imagine Tarkov mixed with... I'm not going to say Minecraft because that'd be silly. But yeah, you got building and survival elements. But with the evilness of other people out there to kill you at every turn. And I would highly recommend it if you want to check out a survival game. Flight Simulator is getting its big UK update next week. So I will be checking this out. So basically the imagery has been updated for England, Wales and Scotland. There's been 50 to 60 new points of interest, new landing challenges, new flight, new airports. You can see there we've got Manchester, Barton, Liverpool and Land's End. There's also Buckingham Palace is actually going to finally be on instead of like an office block. It was a bit funny when he actually flew over. That was just a basic office block. It was like it was a very strange thing to see when you're flying over London. So I'm excited that it's coming. I think France is also coming very soon as i think i remember uh japan's been done u.s updates and all that so there's been a lot of updates regarding flight simulator so i might get back into that actually because it's been a while since i've played it only because the size on the hard drive and i was playing other things so got 30 seconds left coming up on the channel next week 
some zero hour, which is that tactical shooter I was going on about. Hopefully LSP DFR, but they've just released an update and the and it breaks as always. I'll maybe do some flight simulator, maybe maybe a review on War on the Water will be coming up, definitely. Um, so keep an eye out for that. And I hope you've enjoyed some of the changes that are going on the channel. So 10 seconds left. That is the podcast over. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you want to leave a comment below and chat about anything I've been chatting with or anything you want to get involved with, say, just say stop now. Stop! If you want to get involved with anything we've been talking about, just leave a comment below. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.